mail today? No, no we haven't. haven't. Who's going to go check the mail? I'll help you up. What's that? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? What is it? It's Flat Timothy from Mississippi, our cousin. Hi, Timothy. Hi, Hi Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> Welcome, Timothy, to Australia. We'd like to come see the sights around. Yay. 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 Yay! Are you ready to go? Yay. Yay! So today is January 26th, Saturday. And it is actually a special day in Australia. It's Australia Day. The day we celebrate all things Australian. So we're going to take you out on the town in Wollongong on Australia Day and see what Aussie things we can find. On our list is Chico's Chicken, the best place to get chips, which is what Australians call French fries. So what do you think so far, Flat Timothy? You liking being back in Australia? Because we love having you. Hi, we're on the North Wollongong Cliff Road overlooking the Wollongong Harbor. This is where some of the original barracks were, the forts. And that's where little Timothy is on the cannon overlooking the Tasman Sea. No. Hi, Crazy Aids. Hi, Flat Timothy. No. No. It's me. You are One of the things Australia is known for is its beautiful beaches. And today, being Australia Day, oh there are going goodness. to be a lot of people on the beaches. What do you think, Esther? Yeah, there's a lot. Over there. Look! Over there oh my. is the Wollongong Lighthouse. There's actually two. The little one in the front and the bigger one up top. And as you see, lots of people out in the sun celebrating Australia Day. Sunny Bonnie, summer day. Timothy, Flat Timothy, what do you think? Probably the most. Don't blow away. One of our favorite things about the beaches of Australia is they often have rock pools like you see below, right there. It's a swimming pool. But made out of rocks. But made out of the natural landscape. And the water in the swimming pool comes in and out through the ocean in the high and low tides which means if you take your snorkels, you can even see some fish. Now behind it, you see a ocean pool, which is also salt water, but it's more um, like a lap pool. And then behind that, you have the harbor, and of course the lighthouse. And above us are helicopters. I believe it's going to land near the lighthouse. Come on, Timothy. Get up. We've got more to see. We're at the Port Kambla Steelworks with Blue Scope Steel. Wollongong is known for its being the largest uh, steel producing um, city in Australia, but it's been dying off because they can't compete with the cheap Chinese steel. It's also a huge coal delivery area up in, port, up in the mountains of Port Kembla, or up Mount Kembla, and you can see the coal hills behind us. It's all and there's a, coal. There's a port right behind us where they deliver and export a lot of the steel and coal. As you can see from the film, all the coal comes down here. Here's where the big boats come in. They 
pick it up. This is called Port Kembla. It's on the eastern coast of New South Wales, Australia. It's very hazy today, yes, unfortunately. No. Never mind. You can see this is a massive steelworks, the largest steelworks in Australia. What are you guys looking at? So you can eat all of these, I think, depending on the size, I think. Um, but these are under here. So look. Seahorses. Bag form. Gold spotted. Of course you're not allowed to catch it, my shark. Something fun for those American kids is this. Please put your rubbish, we call it rubbish, not trash, in the bin, not the trash can. If we were in America, it'd say, please put your trash in the trash can, located at the boat ramp. Flat Timothy, you need to get back into the car. So guys, are we ready to keep going? Woo! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Timothy? Timothy? Hey. Flat Timothy? Timothy, you're gonna have to have surgery tonight. But I think he's so hungry, he asked us if he could please go get some chicken nuggets at McDonald's. So here we go. Come on, Flat Timothy, let's eat. We are ready to go swimming. Black Timothy, how are you gonna go swimming? Wait, we have an idea. Esther, what did you make for Flat Timothy? Uh, I made, well, I didn't make it. I got a, a big plastic bag for Timothy and so we can go under the water with Timothy and not get it wet. Okay, so we've essentially made a Timorine so Timothy can swim again in a pool where he was. Technically a rock pool. A rock pool. How was it, Gideon? How was it, Flat Timothy? I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> We've had such a good time having Timothy back in Australia with us. We've decided to keep him! To keep him!